All right, this one's gonna be on W3M's new feature called Site Config. But um, let me give you an example here. We'll go to uh, DuckDuckGo here. All right, so if you open like a site like uh, Twitter or something like that, let me open a new one here. Twitter.com. All right, I'll take you to the desktop version and that's not what you want you want to go to the uh, mobile version when you typing you know twitter.com out i mean this one it has like a little yes here where you can hit enter and it'll take you to the mobile uh twitter website right but if you don't have like a user agent or something like that um it'll automatically take you to the desktop version and you know it doesn't really work with w3m really well so that's why you want to do um a uh redirect right uh, another example is if you open um, twitch.tv. Now this one doesn't even work because it assumes that you're going to the desktop version. And this one, it doesn't mean like, you know, uh, have a link to a mobile version. It doesn't detect anything. Usually you would use like a user agent and it'll take you to uh, the mobile version. So let's say if I turn the user agent on here, uh, I think this is it here, right? If I turn the user agent on, it'll automatically take me to, um, was a m.twitch.tv here right so what we want to do is automatically do that every time we type in like twitter.com or twitch.tv or something like that it'll automatically take us to the mobile version of it uh, either using a you know a redirect or they call it a substitution url uh, or uh, if you're using like a user agent on a specific site you can do that too so that's the, the new feature they have on uh and W3M here. I'm gonna show you that right now here. So let's oh, let's edit my uh, site config, um, you know, file here. So it should be in your W3M. Was that dot W3M site config? If you don't have it, just create it. But in here is real simple. You just want to type in. Um, they have different options here, but um, you know, you have the URL. You have the substitution URL if you want to use that. They do have some different ones that you can do here for other things, but the main two you can probably gonna use is either the substitution URL or the user agent, right? So for example, if I enable the Twitter one here, right? And also if I enable the uh, Twitch one here, twitch.tv, um, oh, I'll do that, we'll reload it. But uh, if I open it now, so if I open twitter.com now, it will automatically take us to the mobile, um, you know, URL. So you see at the bottom here it says mobile dot was it dot twitter dot com, right? If I open Twitch TV now, it will automatically take us to the mobile website because it has our user agent. And so you can see at the bottom here it says uh, was that m dot twitch TV now, right? So that's how this, um, you know, site config works. Uh, basically, it will just automatically take us whenever we type in twitter.com uh, or whatever other site that you want to, you know, redirect to a mobile website. Um, you can do that because most uh, sites nowadays, they have like a dot, uh, was an M dot, you know, whatever the site is. And then it'll take us to the mobile version. And those mobile version usually works with W3M. Not always the case, but generally um, any mobile version should work with uh W3M, right? Anyways, if you want to get, uh, you know, more help on it, um, you can do, uh, what is it here? Uh, this is the, your location here. So it should be in your USR share docs, W3M readme.site.config. So open it with, you know, whatever, um, uh, pager or you, or, um, text editor you want to read it with. But uh, here's the help page for it here. Um, if you want to read up on more examples, right? So they do have like a, uh, what's this one here? A no refer from, not sure exactly what that does. It says uh, this prevents HTTP uh, referrals. So there you go. But they give some more examples down here if you want to go into more depth about it. But uh, that's it for this one. Um, as far as the version you need, I believe you need like a, uh, what's the version I'm using? I'm using, uh, 5. Dot, what's that? 0 0.5.3 and the Git version is 2020 0507 2. 
so make sure you have the newest one um i believe it came out this year so if you have something older than a 2020 release it might not uh you know uh be in your build of w3m but anyways that's the um new feature they have with w3m here uh pretty cool and now uh if you're too lazy to remember if it's you know dot mobile dot whatever dot com is and then you can actually just um, pre-fill it out in your site config and it'll automatically switch to it uh, whether it's a substitution URL or a um, you know a user agent or something like that anywho that's for WDM users that'll be it for this one